Hey guys, Jason here and welcome to the Abyss Garage and today is the, I guess you'd say the next installment on this chopper build and that is going to be getting uh, the components into a high build primer. Now last time on this bike uh, we took care of the uh, body filler and smoothing out some areas and by the end of that video I was able to go ahead and get everything shot back into epoxy primer. That way it's sealed up from the elements uh, no matter how long it takes for me to get back to this bike. So now that this is obviously dried and it has gassed out, I'm able to take that next step with the high build primer. And as long, uh, or as well I should say, with getting these parts into a high build, I'm also going to be shooting a skateboard and uh, my motorcycle helmet as well into the high build. So that way um, I can use those two pieces as a uh, test test beds, if you want to say, or examples for figuring out the uh, the paint situation on this bike. Now I do have an idea of pretty much what color I want to paint it. However, I'm not exactly sure as to patterns and things of that nature. So I figured I'll use these two te as a test piece, see exactly what I like before actually uh, going with that final step. So with that being said, let's get started on today's video. So welcome to the mess, uh, I might even want to start calling this. So I got everything inside this, uh, I keep saying spray booth here. I do have a uh, heater going on. Um, I have I have a couple heaters, but uh, obviously my, my big one, obviously the hot air is rising. So I figured to try and get some heat inside here uh, to get up close or hit the, uh, the correct temperature for the activator or for the reducer. Um, that'd be the best. So uh, we have, like before, fender over there, tank still sitting there. The frame, I end up using a half inch threaded rod and jacking the bottom of the frame up higher. And uh, so that way I can get underneath uh, painted my uh, fender bracket that I forgot about. Helmet, a tumbler, both sitting on jack stands. And then last, I got the uh, skateboard held up by safety wire. So uh, now, um, next step is I'm going to take the red Scotch-Brite pad again. And uh, quickly, I'm going to scuff over uh, the bike itself. Uh, and the uh, tumbler and the, and the skateboard are good. So we'll, we'll Scotch-Brite the rest and uh, see about mixing up this uh, Speedo Coat brand uh, high build primer. important part right now and that is uh, mixing up this primer and uh, what I have done is I've taken the masking tape and on both sides because uh, as per the directions on here we want to mix this up at a high build ratio of four parts primer to one part activator to 15 to 20 percent uh, reducer 
so uh, I got this marked at four to one. So I'll do four parts, then one part, and then also uh, I will do a little less than a quarter of one part for the reducer itself. So that way I have the proper mixture. Um, this has been sitting for a little bit, shook it up. But what I'm gonna do is take a sacrificial piece of welding wire. A coat hanger actually works the best, quite honestly. But uh, we're gonna bend this up, stick it up into the drill itself. Obviously make sure this is clean. Uh, get this uh, mixed properly and then get it all uh, situated into this container and then from there into this container and into the gun, blah, blah, blah. Alright guys, so first coat is complete. I was able to actually get a second coat on the tumbler and the helmet. Um, we are empty. So, good news is for me, I'm able to take a break now, uh, get out of the garage, uh, let this dry, cure if you'll say, and also try to gas out a little bit so that way I don't lose any more important brain cells because I don't have a whole lot left. So. Uh, yeah, I'll pull the camera in real quick, show you guys, and then get on to the next step here. All right, so here we are now, and uh, first round of primer is uh, dry. Not quite sure where I left off with the last clip. Again, uh, you know, uh, working. I'm working on this stuff uh, after hours. You know, I get home from work, dinner, whatnot. So uh, it's like second, second time, full time job basically with this stuff. So I'm going to show you real quick uh, three things that we sprayed, and uh, go over the next step now. All right. So here is our skateboard, my uh, Bell Moto or a Bell 500 custom helmet. I think I've had it forever. Uh, and a tumbler. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to use this uh, Eastwood guide coat I've had from uh, previous projects. I know they have the um, more like a powder. It's not even like I don't know if a powder, but uh, almost looks like it's in like a uh, like a wax container where you dust it on instead of using an aerosol. But uh, this will work too. Uh, red Scotch Brite. That's 600 grit equivalent. As I've mentioned before, I have. Uh, some 600 grit uh, hook and loop sandpaper and then I have uh, some glazing putty which I'll probably have to get more of uh, but the idea here is once I get this sprayed on let's just do that real quick so I'll have to mix that up a little bit better but uh, we'll put this on and there are obviously some spots here like right there there uh, I think there's like one other spot 
So the whole idea is to, um, we're gonna sand that down, reveal the areas that are gonna need to work, which I will show you guys uh, after we're done with this on the other uh, the tank, the fender, and the frame, and uh, keep moving along. But show you this, we'll uh, get this sanded down and then uh, move along. Fender I was nervous about and it was better than I uh, anticipated the frame I was feeling good about and before I even get guide code on here I see there's uh, a few areas that are gonna need more attention than uh, I had thought so uh, you know that's par for the course so let's get some guide code on here and see what I'm really working with now
right, so here we are. Uh, I ended up doing some work off camera, uh, basically a second round of high build primer and uh, sanding and some uh, using a little bit of uh, glazing putty to fill in some areas that I could uh, just easily see. Uh, didn't think it was worth filming. Uh, just seemed uh, redundant and, um, you know, just not worth the time. So uh, with that being said, so that was taken care of. Uh, just got this done in a uh, sealer. So the high build primer that I have is also a sealer when you reduce it. So uh, I followed the instructions and reduced it down and uh, sprayed out really nice. And I'm gonna show you guys. And uh, yeah, so here you go. I mean, it's truly amazing. I think how well this turned out. Um, and this hasn't been touched with uh, a scotch spray pad or anything scuffing. So this is just how it was done with the uh, spray gun itself. And, uh, you know, we have our helmet that I'm going to custom paint uh, just to test things out. Even the skateboard here. I mean, this thing came out really well. Light, the light may be hard to see, but um, that came out super nice. Same thing with the gas tank here. And, uh, I mean, that looks really good. So I think that's going to look great. Same thing with the frame. Uh, I could have spent a lot of time on the frame. Probably should have spent some more time. But, you know, try to smooth things out here and make everything blend a little bit easier on the eye once, once we're going to see it. And, um, obviously, the tank's going to be covering the top. So we're going to obviously cover up some of this area that I spent a lot of time on and same thing with the seat pan uh, the seat pan itself is going to come up to here so even though I spent all this time uh, molding this in it'll be covered um, but yeah I mean it's not 100% perfect but um, you know it came out really good it, for my capabilities uh, you know just smoothing this out so uh, this actually feels pretty good uh, same thing with down there and uh, whatnot. So uh, with that being said, that's what I have for today's video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, you know what? I mean, um, I got some flake here and uh, I'll show you guys in the next episode. I have a couple other flakes I end up ordering uh, that I'm waiting to come in in the next day or two. Um, weather's starting to get better. So really looking forward to this now at this point. Uh, I would like to think, uh, for the most part, the hard work is is over, and um, you know, now the fun part begins. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys around for the next video. Take care, guys.